Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. As we start the new year, if you have some time to give to some young people in our area, they could certainly use it. Joining us in our studios this half hour is Kristen Allen. She is from the Mentoring Partnership of Southwestern Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. Thank you and thank Comcast for having us. Such a great an important organization and let's begin by telling folks a little bit about what you all do. Sure, well the Mentoring Partnership was established 15 years ago, this year is our anniversary and um, we are here to promote and support mentoring in the Pittsburgh region. So we're the lead resource, we work with more than 140 local organizations who serve youth in our area and we provide best practices and resources to them so that they can offer information for mentors and mentees. So you're kind of, I always tease you, you're kind of like the dating service. <laughs> yes, yes. Between those looking to mentor and these agencies. And so how does it work? Um, it's actually really easy. You're right, the dating service, that's a very good analogy. Um, the mentoring partnership actually matches um, people, potential volunteers, with programs that best fit their interests and their needs. So if you're interested in volunteering, looking to get involved, you can come to us and we will work with you to identify a few programs in the area that could work for you and your schedule. Yeah, and when we talk about mentoring and why it is so important, how many young people are actually waiting for a mentor right now? Well, it's interesting. Um, there are actually more than 24,000 kids currently being mentored in our region. Now that's a 400% increase over the last 12 years. So wow. very proud of that. We made, we've made some great strides over the last few years but to your point there still is work to be done there are 1200 kids that are currently on waiting lists in our area so of course our goal is always to make that number get smaller so we are working you know each and every year to uh, to make sure that kids who want or need a mentor don't have to wait for one yeah and, and what do we know about the benefits of mentoring uh, mentoring is very important to the community I mean it, it's it's definitely a self-esteem booster for kids. Um, all kids have the potential to succeed, but not all kids have the support that they need to do so. So mentoring is just that little extra support to help kids reach their potential and reach their goals. Yeah, and we always talk about what the children get out of this. What do the mentors get out of this? Um, it's, it's interesting because there's always research done on how mentoring impacts mentees but they're also doing research on how it impacts mentors and consistently across the board mentors are saying that they're getting just as much as as they're putting into it. So it really is um, a win-win situation for everybody involved. So now does it vary by organizations that someone might be matched up with or someone sitting at home might be wondering how much time do I have to give? Is there training that I go through? Um, how does this all work? Yes, well training is a very big part of it. Um, the mentoring partnership, that's one of the main things that we do. We train program staff and we also train volunteers and mentees. Um, in fact, this year we've trained more than 3,000 people in the area. So very proud about that. Um, but once you, you know, decide that you're interested in getting involved, we can help you identify a program that would fit your needs. Some programs, it takes you know, as little as an hour a week to donate your time. Right. Um, I mean, that's like watching a TV show in the evening. You know, you could be making a difference in somebody's life, but the programs do vary across the board. There are after-school programs, there are faith-based programs, there's even programs that are focused on sports or interscholastic activities, so there really is something for everybody. Oh, that's great, and January is an important month for you all. Yes, January is National Mentoring Month. Um, it's actually a national initiative, so we're excited to be participating here in Pittsburgh, and it really is just another another time for us to get the word out about how important it is to get involved. You know, many of us have benefited from a mentor at some point in our lives, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to give back. Um, it doesn't take much time, doesn't take much special skills. It just takes, you know, a caring adult, somebody that's willing to lend their interests and their time. Yeah, and just because someone calls you doesn't mean they're committed that they have to do it. it they can just call you and, and talk through the process. That's right, no strings attached. Um, you, can, you can give us a call. We're happy to walk you through the process. We're happy to answer any questions you have, and we can even help identify some programs that you think you might be interested in even if you're not interested in getting involved right away. Well it's so fantastic you guys do such great work. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll send you back now to HLN.